Stereo 103. Straight from the heart. 8 centigrade, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Piccadilly News, I'm Fiona Duncan. The leaders of the two superpowers are making last-minute preparations for the opening session of their mini-summit in Iceland, which starts in just over three hours' time. Mikhail Gorbachev wants a deal on nuclear arms control, but President Reagan will be trying to push human rights violations in the Soviet Union to the top of the agenda. This report from D Dave Loyne in Reykjavik. Mikhail Gorbachev and his wife Raiza spent the night on a Soviet liner moored in Reykjavik harbour. Across the bay this morning he can see the modest turn of the century wooden house where today he'll talk world peace with Ronald Reagan. Speaking through an interpreter, he says he wants a decision on arms cuts. Which would remove the threat of nuclear war, which would allow us to tackle thoroughly the problems of disarmament. But the Americans are more cautious. Assistant Secretary of State Rosanne Ridgway. We are not looking for agreements as we all use the word. The Americans are expected to concentrate today on the violation of human rights in the Soviet Union. Britain's first woman trade union leader has been banned from visiting South Africa. Brenda Dean of the print union Sogat had been due to leave with seven colleagues on Sunday to meet Winnie Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. But the South African authorities say they can't allow them into the country because previous trade union visitors from Britain have misrepresented conditions there. A senior diplomat in the West German Foreign Ministry has been shot dead outside his Bonn home and police think it was the work of a left-wing urban guerrilla group, the Red Army Faction. He was killed by two masked men as he got out of a taxi in a quiet suburban street. A sailor from the Royal Yacht Britannia has been sent home from Hong Kong in disgrace after a punch-up with another seaman in an argument over use of the ship's phone. The Britannia is on its way to Shanghai where it will serve as a floating trade exhibition of British goods while the Queen makes her historic six-day state visit to China. A Stockport pressure group's hoping that while Mrs Thatcher has sore feet on her mind after spraining her ankle this week, she'll be more understanding of their cause. The Stockport Odd Feet Society wants VAT immunity because they have to buy two pairs of shoes instead of one. Jill Evans says she gets scores of letters a week begging from help for help from, pe from people who one foot bigger than the other. Her organisation petitioning the Prime Minister this weekend saying they should be...
46.36 now. Back down the scale. 